we want to ask you some rapid fire fun questions and say, are you ready? I am ready. Your favorite binge watch of the past year. Ooh, my favorite binge watch of the past year. Uh, don't laugh at me, y'all. Frasier. I am really getting into Frasier. I think I was a little too young to appreciate the humor when it was on television. I'm here for super smart, funny comedy. That is a, yeah, that's been my, like, oh, this was actually a really good show. <laughs> Did you pick up any weird or interesting habits or hobbies during the pandemic? Well, I got two dogs <laughs> um, who've been wonderful companions in the middle of the pandemic, but my brother and I tried our hand at woodworking, and so we built a customized bookshelf for myself where we bought the lumber and shaved it down and painted it, sanded it, put it all together. As we fought the whole time, but it really brought us closer together. Oh, and we get a little introduction to your dogs there too. All right, it's Saturday night. What are you drinking? I'm a whiskey girl. I'm a whiskey and a bourbon girl. What's your favorite thing about Atlanta that no one talks about? I think food culture, international food culture, is huge here. You can get high quality cuisine from every corner of the globe here in Atlanta. If you were to run for president one day, what would your rally entrance song be? Ooh. Honestly, I'm going to get so roasted, but um, there's a song, I'm Proud to Be an American. I'm proud to be an American, well, at least I know I'm free. It gets me every time. It makes me so emotional. Oh um, my gosh, I've heard it a million <laughs> times at the Air Force Academy. They played it at every event and every graduation. I know every word of it. Yes, me too. I'm a naturalized citizen, I'm an immigrant, super patriotic and like proud to be an American citizen. Work really hard to sort of make uh, the rhetoric about American democracy our reality. So yes, that would be my song. That's awesome. And I just wanted to thank you for your time. We appreciate it so much here on the Suburban Women Problem Podcast. Thank you, this was lovely. Please have me back.